call our meeting to order. I'll try to tie a rope to it, pull it out. And if you would please stand for the invocation. Thank you. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for this uh, community. We just ask you to bless it and be with us throughout this meeting. We ask, Lord, you just guide and direct us as we uh, go over the things that we need to go over, Lord. We just ask you to watch over the ones that are not here. Uh, Lord, we just uh, ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation and under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Thank everyone for being out here tonight. Uh, sorry we had to postpone our last meeting uh, last Tuesday, but. Uh, a lot of other community organizations canceled, and we're quite sure what we were going to be ending up with impending tornadoes. Yeah. Can you hear me, Wayne? I can. I'll try to speak up a little louder. Okay, so I go move on to two roll call, Tom Trammell. Tom Self Sick. Vonda Eckerson. Here. James Baker. Here. Mike Davis. He's a home recuperating officer. Sammy Keene. Here. Tommy Matthews. Here. Rick Paul. Here. Kathy Riker. Here. Wayne Teller. Here. Charlie Thompson. Here. Glad you're back. Terry Hester. Here. here. Mickey Olson. Here. Vicki M. Here. Bill Brim. Here. Judy Brim. Here. Stephanie Watson. Okay, uh, we'll move on to uh, approve uh, excused members. We have a motion. Motion to approve. A second. Discussion out there. Most say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Who second that? Passes. What was I mean, uh, who was our second? Baker. James. James. Okay, okay. thank you. Behind us. Okay, we'll move on to um, approve the agenda. Board members, you have a copy of the agenda. Motion to approve when you're ready. Motion to approve agenda. Second. Motion and second. Motion by Charles, second by Wayne. Any discussion on the agenda, board members? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Okay, uh, we'll approve the minutes. Uh, Hilda? Any corrections to the minutes uh, for November? Board members, do we have any 28? corrections on the minutes for the December 28th? November. November 20th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay, I will post them. Let's have a motion to approve the minutes. We can. Motion by Lee. Second. Second by Sammy. Any discussion on the minutes? All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. We'll move on to the treasurer's report, Vicki. Okay, I passed out our banking records for November and also December since we didn't have a meeting. So November, as of November 30th, the Seacoast checking account balance was 20,340.76. Our reserve account, which is a savings account, $50,047.12. And our membership account that they pay on online was $2,400 for a total of 72,787.88. Total deposits for the month were nineteen eighty five fifty. I don't think there was anything particularly outstanding. We had some park repairs of twenty two hundreds that was out of the norm. And as you can see from the membership account, we had just started receiving a few payments in for membership during that time period. Any questions on November? You want to do separate no, approvals or together? Okay. 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 December records as of December 31st, the Seacoast checking account was 16,297.93. 
the reserve account was fifty thousand fifty dollars and eighty cents, and our membership account was fourteen thousand seven hundred twenty five for a total of eighty one thousand seventy three dollars and seventy three cents. Total deposits that month were twelve thousand three twenty eight sixty eight. Um, any questions on December? Board members, you have any questions? Mm -hmm. uh, you. Um, you have other I have others I wanted to just bring up. Um, since we didn't have a meeting in December and then our other meeting in January got postponed, we were running very short in our working fund. So in with our records, we have a copy of screen prints of what our account looked like before I transferred money on January the 13th. Our working fund was down to only 9,557 and you gave me a verbal approval to move $15,000 from our membership account over to the working fund. So I have copies of that. So as of today though, a screen print shows that our Working fund is 24,557 and um, the membership account is $50,994. Plus, we still have our reserve account for 50,000. Okay, you have anything else to That's uh, all I have. Report? Okay, board members, you, you heard the uh, uh, financial report for November and December. Motion, motion by Sammy and seconded by uh, Rick. In discussion on finance reports, all favor motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, we'll go on to the president's report. Okay. I really don't have too much to talk about, but I've been getting a lot of phone calls about um, people's properties are in such disarray that they real estate companies are getting upset about it and calling saying that it's in our dial bylaws and deeds and restrictions that we're supposed to keep our property and good repair correct yeah now that's actually a, a code uh, enforcement uh, requirement for the county also if i'm not mistaken so really what we would we would really need uh them to file a formal complaint with the board mm -hmm. if they have that file, They're fit, uh, file it with the board me, yeah. i doubt that we can take any action but our our code enforcement would be very similar to our bylaw uh -huh. so then it would be inherent upon the board to communicate with the county code enforcement uh, okay. we can't do anything unless we have something in writing that's going to signify that they're in a complaint. Yeah, they're going to be doing that. The homeowner that bought the property because he bought it from out of town. And then when he went on Google Earth and he seen the mess down the road. Right. And then the real estate company seen it and it's, they're very unhappy. Um, so you can you can get back to them and let yeah, the board's yeah. interested, but we, we need to have them okay. uh, officially. And another thing is, too, all these online petitions going around and people saying that I see them, I do not see them. Unless they call me or talk to me on the phone or email me or something, I have not seen no petitions and they have not been given to me. So I appreciate it. Whoever's going around telling them they turn them in, they have not turned them in. If it makes you feel any better, Terry. I haven't seen any either. So okay. I don't really pay much attention to that. Do we ever come up with a date on that in February? We need to check with the Jake Chris. Uh, we need to check with the Jake Chris on that date. We are going to try to do what, like a sweetheart banquet in February. We're still debating on what weekend. It's, it'll be after. It'll be after. Yeah, after Valentine's. Valentine's Day, but we're going to do spaghetti salad and garlic bread and like a dance, not karaoke, but a dance. Is it in Valentine's Day. This is Valentine's. Oh, is it is it a Valentine's Day thing or sort of kind of sort of not? Yes. I don't want someone not to come because they're okay. not don't have a don't have a partner or a significant other. Well, you can come stay. No, not me. I don't want someone. I'm else not to... you, them. <laughs> so do you have anything to? Uh, well, that sounds good. Do you have a date set again? We're looking at toward like the weekend after. Let me um, bound times, ain't we? It was. 
Seventeen through the twenty-fourth. I'm hoping to warm up a little Not bit. Not the twenty-fourth. Oh, anything happening that day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they get a married. I think the 17th, we'll, we'll, we'll announce it and then go on the website. Yeah. And, we'll it. and also, key day is this Saturday, 10 to 2. If you pay for your keys and you want to pick them up, you need to be here Saturday, 10 to 2. Lots this Saturday? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, Mike, how are you? Good. I, I, I didn't break my phone. So, what you do? We'll look. It's 175. We'll get Bring it Saturday. Good to see you again, too. You look, you look great. Been out, been busy, been You can pay on Saturday. Okay. So, uh, you want to go ahead and pre pay class? I mean, we'll get ready for the meeting. He'll be here for a while. Meeting. Don't arrive now. Um, Terry, do you have anything to report on uh, the Christmas activities? Oh, yeah, they turned out real good. We had a. Uh, it's. It turned out really good this time. It's getting better every year. Yeah, everybody's just really they were. liking our community events. Um, we had the break was really good too. It was fun. People are going all out. Yeah, yeah people are going all out. Yeah. 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 We've yeah, done. Heard some people talk about it. look like New York or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. Really and we have a lot of volunteers ideas. this time too that helped out a whole lot, and it was good because me and Bonnie really needed them at the time. I want to tell them thank you. Yeah. But yeah, it's getting better every year. Great, great mm -hmm. job. All right, you have anything else you want to report on? I do wish we could find a way for Bill to be able to make people. Um. Show their key and tell their name. We're working on it. Okay. Okay. Anything else? All right. Okay. We'll move on then to a park manager's report. The bill. Uh, let's see. Uh, the gates continue to be a problem there, uh, which is going to be the same thing. Okay. You told me they were an opportunity. They're not a problem. They're an opportunity. <laughs> well, we've got quite an opportunity there. Uh, some people are very adamant about clothes, they think they, I talk to people, the members to find out, man, I, we want these clothes, and then I'll talk to some other folks, and they can give a rat's ass, you know what I mean? Right. Speaking in, in uh, French. But that's just the quality of the individual. Right, you know, they, they, and my issue with it, I try to explain to them that they're responsible if somebody comes in behind them, and they also say, well, we leave it unlocked for a friend of ours that's going to come. That ain't the way it works. They got to go send somebody up because they're the member and they're supposed to let this guest or friend in. Uh, I have folks that don't go to parks because uh, of that problem. Some people leave them open and they got a group. And as long as you can document, I do. And if you've got names and you can place those names there when there's some form of injury or there's an incident. Right. And there's a lawsuit. Those people themselves can actually be held. Accountable. Right, right. And I try, you know, because the rules are clear, and you've made you've made notice. And knowledge is dangerous. And I ask them, please lock the gates. I don't go, you know, I don't go in there barreling in there and tell them until you know. Then they start, you know, the more beer they've drank or whatever, the the right. more they know about the bylaws. Okay, uh, dogs are starting to pick back up in the parks. I guess it's time of the year. Nobody can go swimming, but they bring their dogs down to the parks and uh, I had a couple of encounters and you know and I've had people come to me also and say that you know, they're afraid of this dog or that dog or whatever I tell them they can't be in here and if they own a dog it's got to be uh, it's got to be a yeah. medical assistance mm -hmm. dog and it also there is a law that ADA says if you're calling your dog a medical uh, a service animal, and it's not. That's that's a they can be arrested for that or given citation for that. If they're calling it something that it ain't, and I they can't they don't have to show me anything. I just go by their word, and that's all I can go by through ADA. 
And I think the board is, has asked if you would to, to document as much as you can. Right. Take, take the pictures mm -hmm. and, and keep the conversations so that when we go forward, we're protecting uh, all that we can protect. Right, ourselves. right. You know, and, and they're, they're good members, some of them. Well, one thing is, it's, I've been there before when somebody calls with bark and growl. Yeah. And I, I think if we definitely have that, uh, complaint. Yeah. Then go ahead and call the sheriff's office and have them make a report. Sheriff won't do anything. Well, if the dog is in there and he's threatening somebody. Okay. Then most likely is the, I haven't seen any of the dogs that were on the leash that's been inside the park. All right. I've that's been... another violation. But I mean, it's not supposed to be there. But any time that an animal is aggressive, it needs to be documented. And the sheriff, we can demand that they make a report. If I see an aggressive dog, I, I definitely don't leave until it's taken care of because yeah. uh, I've had people get out of the water or try to get out of the water right in front of a dog that's growling and barking at them and their kids wanting to play and getting them out of the water. Same situation, you know. I love dogs. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that's not the issue. The issue is that the animal is any, any bit aggressive at all. Right. Because what's going to happen to our insurance if we're passive about this, that's right. And then we lose our insurance. Right. And what are we going to do with the park? Yeah. And uh, I also explained to them that I have told you that this is a liability and I am asking you to get the dog out of here. Now, if anything happens, you've been told. Plus, there's signs everywhere. Everybody complains about the signs, but apparently, there's a lot of folks who can't read. You know what I mean? Oh, well, I understand that. Part. Uh, any, any barking, any growling doesn't matter. Vote and run for vote. If they're right. inside that park, I really think we ought to have a sheriff's report. Okay, I'm going to do my best to do that. But I mean, not just because the dog's there, but I mean, if it's if it's barking and growling, right. and you, you're there and they can tell you. Right. Well, they, you know, yeah. uh, they start st stacking them in their cars as I drive in, you know. Uh. <laughs> well, it, we have cameras. If you can see on the cameras, if the dog's been barking at somebody, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I think we need to take much more aggressive action. Yeah, and I think I think that we ought to follow ADA, you know, with no problem. But the ones that, you know, my dog's a mental health dog too, or whatever you call it, emotional support dog, because she's a great dog. You know what I mean? Like everybody else's. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, okay. Thank you. Have... Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> uh, as the waters recede, which I this I was supposed to give this on the ninth, so. As the waters recede, which they are not doing now, but when they do again, please everybody check for glass or anything that might injure anybody when you're out there walking around. Uh, I try to keep an eye, but and uh, stuff floats in, and so just keep an eye open. Uh, we did have a break in at one of the bathrooms over at Park, over at uh, uh, Swanee, Swanee. Swanee Park uh, boat ramp. So I had uh, I took went down to a metal place in Lake City and had them banded metal. Nathan put it up and I painted it up so it matched the walls and stuff and Nathan put it up. So I think that'll help. They're going to have to hook a truck to it or something to, if they want to get it out. So that'll... Uh, Do you have any idea what they were looking for trying to break into a bathroom? There's nothing in there but toilet. And they, didn't, they didn't vandalize anything. Yeah. They just took the screen out of the window. And they had to have climbed up on the back of a truck or something, you know, because that pretty high. Pretty high. Yes, it could be. Well, they made it because I didn't see anything laying out on the ground outside. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, do, you do you have a question? I just uh, want to commend Bill for an excellent report and beautiful. Um, uh, my understanding is that all of the parks are to be dog free, correct? That's not correct. There's three that they have. the board has designated that they can take a dog as long as it's on a leash, and that's uh, camping parks. Bridge Park and also uh, fishing, 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 fishing Park. Thanks for my question and the issues. And to and from the you. boat, it boat ramp to and from the boat. Yeah, and to and from the boat because people yeah. take their dogs out. Yeah. Uh, we were able to. I was able to take care of that. Those three pieces of fence down at Bridge Park that a tree took out. Um, Oh, I want to personally thank the volunteers and the board members and the Busy Bees for the wonderful Christmas extravaganza. I don't, it was, it was above and above beyond. There's no doubt about it. Y'all did a wonderful job. Thank you. Uh, and it was great seeing Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus there. 
uh, even though they've been pretty dang busy, it sounds like to me. Uh, we that, went on the hayride. <laughs> <laughs> and we're having a problem, too, that uh, apparently there's a group that wants to make um, Camping Park a memorial for a, somebody that got hurt or whatever, or shot or killed or whatever. They're stacking uh, two to three beer bottles up in the rafters of the pavilion, full beer bottles. I generally find them and get them down. I'll take a picture, and but I'll get them down, and uh, then they'll be back up there probably a week or two later. And I, I have a general idea. I don't know for sure, so it's an assumption on my part of who it is. And uh, I'm not going to say names or anything, but it's got to stop. Uh, people are gonna get hurt. They just set them up there, and you know they don't have no clue if somebody's gonna walk by, a kid's gonna hit the pavilion, or walk under it, or glass is gonna break, and then they won't pick it up because they won't be there. And so, I don't know if they if the people want these to be their parks and safe. Well, let's you know well, let's make drivers to, to uh, get the cameras uh, in that area. If we have to. That's what it's gonna take. You can only do the best you can do with what you what you've got. Consider. The isolation of these parks, right? What's the main thing? But you have to also recognize too, there are just some people that are just that quality of person, right? It doesn't matter what you do; that's all they're going to. That's all they know. That's. that's I've had complaints know. about people not going there right. because of. And so all we can do is just document it the best we can, and, and recognize what it is, and ultimately, uh, it will probably drive this board to go ahead and place cameras in that park. Yeah. Not that we really want to, but it will require to do that. Board, thanks for your time. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Um, we'll move on to the uh, maintenance uh, committee. That's Tommy and Bill, and uh, I don't have any activity in that area myself, but Tommy, you have anything uh, working on in maintenance? No. Currently? Okay. Well, uh, broke. <laughs> he broke. He broke. He has no, no money. You have no money. We How cut the you? budget. Uh, well, there's still stuff in, laying out there. You and I have discussed over the time, the last few months, right. and uh, with the budget change and stuff, I don't know if that's going to happen. So, but we'll sure. we'll talk about it when that comes. Sorry, sorry. All right. Well, thank you all for that. We'll move on to communication. Bonder and Charlie. And okay. Um. Okay, let's start with the uh, yeah membership. Membership. Okay. Let's go membership first. Okay. So since we did not have a meeting in December, let me give you the numbers. So the Columbia County side uh, for membership, we had seven hundred and twenty-seven members. On the Swanee County side, we had two hundred and twenty-five members. Uh, I'm sorry. No, 275. I'm sorry, 275. Okay. So it's a total of 1,002 members we wrapped up the year of 2023 with. So now starting in January, um, so far for the Columbia County side, we have 354 members. The Swanee County side is 117 members. It's a, a total at this moment of 471 members, and that's going to grow Saturday after a key day. But just to give you a comparison from um, last year and this year, so I guess we wrapped up 20, December of 22 with 875 members, and then in 23, we wrapped up with 1,002. And then January of 23, we had a, at this point last year, we only had 159 members this that year paid. that had paid. Right. These are paid up to this point. Because we have this many members, but only this many have paid. paid. Right. Correct. Because it all started over. So right. in 23, we only had 159 at this point, whereas now we have 471. So it really shows how our membership is really growing. Um, and I think the biggest part of this is a lot of them are paying online, which thank you very much, Charlie. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is, but that mail's coming in I'm heavy. Yes. I know, <laughs> I know. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> okay, another thing we want to bring up um, is uh, hardship. We've had two members um, request assistance for, for hardship, paying their dues. Um, 
last year, I mean, we had, I think, two members that just flat out paid those. Um, but up till then, before they paid them, I think we had discussed that at that time, before it was raised, we were at $100. So I would feel that the $100 would need to be paid by the member, and then anything above that, maybe we could get members to pitch in to help. That had been some that. discussion for so, uh, above that. So it's 175 now. 175 now. So that's what we need to decide how, how to handle that. Do you, do you know if there's, uh, there's any two, folks or anybody reached out to any two, other members? To, two, anybody two. reached out to any other members to possibly offset those? So, so far, no. From the, from the membership? So far, no. But that's why this is the first. We might put a can out on Saturday. I don't know. Or, you know, just put it out that if, you know, anybody would like to donate towards that. Right. Okay. Um, we had talked about reviewing that last year. We didn't have, we didn't get to that process because they were taken care of by somebody. Uh, right. We had two members. Yeah. Right. Paid for them. So how would y'all like to handle that board members? Uh, does everybody understand what did I was saying? Y'all understand that so we've had two members come forward asking for hardships with last membership last this year, year and this year also. Oh, yeah. Last year we actually had two other members come forward and pay for those memberships. Free, they just paid their memberships for them. Let go. I, I'd say let it go and see if somebody has any I'll get some money. Yeah. We buy it. Um, mention. Maybe make a poster for Saturday. You'll put thing up Saturday and see what we can with do. With a hardship we'll... can and just ask, say, donations. Yeah, I, think I would really rather do that than all the other members paying for a membership. Well, I don't think I, I don't think yeah. I understand that. Yeah. I imagine the board can approve I that. Think, I think uh, having, a, having it set up as a donation, you know, people that do right. pay, if they want to donate extra money. Since we have two, and I guess that amount we divide would be about one hundred and fifty dollars. Is that we're looking for right, yeah. to help offset that? Right. They would have to pay their. their the amount before less, it went up. Uh, you, you got Unless we receive them. more, right? I mean, if we receive over that, then we can contribute that to that. Is that good board. Everyone feels good with that. How, how do we approve the uh, uh, hardship case? Well, we didn't really have to, but we had discussed uh, meeting. Oh. With the individual, it's the same too this year. There is some criteria. We looked at some criteria before. I, I don't have it in front of me, but there's some basic criteria that you qualify. It's not in our fault. You can look at some government standards. Government standards pretty high. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we can review that. But let's see how that goes uh, on Saturday. We'll put a can or box okay. or something out Saturday well, too. I kind of feel like that'll get taken care of. Oh. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And the next thing is do not forget key day, our key membership day is Saturday from 10 to 2. Locks will be changed that morning. So your current key will no longer work at that point. So if you're planning to use your key next week and you're not going to pick it up Saturday, you may be out of luck. Um, but we did put this out there originally that you need to plan ahead. So I'm sure um, Monday, so anything that's not picked up on Saturday will start going out in the mail Monday, correct? Monday, Tuesday. Monday, but well, they'll start. Yeah. So once we get the committee together and they'll get everything uh, ready to go for the ones that have already requested. Um, so, so those people, the ones being mailed out, they will not be able to access the gates until their keys are received. Um, it's this Saturday, the this Saturday, yes. 10 to 2. So, what are you projecting? You said you already have about 400 uh, members now. We already got five. Yeah. You have 500 now? 470, yeah. 471, but yes, we have a stack of people that send in 150, and then the, they'll either pay Saturday the additional 25 or there's coming through the mail. What are you, what are you projecting to service Saturday? People have probably a couple hundred at least, don't you? <laughs> yeah. when a couple hundred, yeah. maybe? Yeah, there'll probably be a couple of hundred down through because it was last year. Right Can you talk it. about uh, briefly just how it's going to be staged? It'll be like it was last year. It will run smoothly. So you'll come through the door and you'll come this direction. Terry will be here right. like we did last year. And you will let her know if you have already paid ahead of time. If so, your keys will be waiting on that side of the room. You'll go to, she'll, we'll send you to that table. The ladies will pull the keys. You'll have a 
a, a notebook to sign, just to sign your key out, take your key and you're on the way out the door. Otherwise, if you have to pay that day, you would come over here to Terry. She'll pull your file, you pay. Vicky writes a receipt. She'll, Vicky writes a receipt. We'll hand it to the table in the back. We'll go ahead and stamp the key. Check as soon as, as soon as they're mm -hmm. stamped, so we you'll sign for your key it. and you're on your way. The only <laughs> okay. one that's going to take a little more time are the brand new people that have just purchased. We just need to see the deed and we'll have to sign them a number. That one takes a little more and I'll be handling that. But generally, you're going to come through and it should run. Wayne's been very busy. He's got um, lots of keys ready to go. He's got big muscles. Yeah. So, so it should run very smoothly. I don't know how they got that. We shouldn't have any any issues. Um, we're not yeah, yeah. looking looking for any. Start, what time again? Ten a.m. Ten a.m. Ten a.m. We're going to be ready to go. Um, the other thing we need to talk about is um, the porta potties, because remember we cut the budget, and we had discussed removing some porta potties. One being on the Swanee side because we've never had one at Brennan Park. Okay. So, and the only reason we moved it there was because once the construction was done, that just moved moved it down the way. Can I speak to that for a second? Yes. I have a, one of the gentlemen from the other side, a member, had a pretty good idea, and he's already done. He, I thought he was going to be here tonight. Us buy the. He knows where we can get the porta some porta potties at a fairly inexpensive price, and then we pay somebody to come at a service them like we're doing through Polonies instead of paying for the porta potties we own them and it would be a lot less because we have them pumped out a lot more often in the high season i uh like i said he was i talked to him last night uh yeah last night before last and he'd already called around and got prices and stuff i asked him he said he was going to be here and that and was going to submit that to you guys uh but that's not the case so I'll have them get you the prices and stuff. And at least that's a decision you can make. It may be a whole lot cheaper. Right. And uh, then we'll own them and we'll just have a company come and pump them out and service, and service them like we're doing now. It's a thought. And it may bring it down below what we're currently playing or down to the point we could do them all for what you want to cut cut away from. Well, it's going to have to cut because yeah. we're getting a lot, a lot for the I understand. this year. Absolutely. So there's companies that actually come and pump water water bottles. Right. Really. You know, like uh, he has. Uh, I guess he knows a company. He has the prices and stuff. So he's already. Uh, it's Jared. You know who Jared is. So, Jared Blackman. Yeah, and he. Uh, that's what he brought up at one of the meetings. Uh, I think a Saturday meeting or whatever. The idea of us buying them and then. Instead of paying a, a rental fee for the porta potty, maybe that'll cut it back enough to where, you know, you, you know if he got the, if, if he's got the prices, did he get the price for the pumping also? Yeah, he said he did. So, uh, um, it, it's just something that another idea. That's all yeah. it is, you know. Yeah. Paying like eleven hundred a month, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's just another idea. Yeah, we can certainly certainly look at it. We'd also need to look at the, the liability um, associated with that. You know, because people sometimes fall into porta potties. Yeah, it's terrible. Isn't it? I've, I've been there and seen legs hanging out all the time. <laughs> we want to make sure that yeah. we, we have seen some laying over on the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have. <laughs> Okay, so and did you get uh, what you didn't get your answer on the porta potties yet? Well, now I mean, for what we're doing now, what do y'all think? I mean, do we want to well, wait for that? The bad thing is, if they get in disrepair, somebody vandalizes them, it's on us, it's on us, yes. And also, if there's a flood and you want them strapped down, Polonius yeah. comes out and takes care of that, moves them, straps them. Bill would have to do yeah, that. Probably what we should do is, is review what we uh, brought ourselves down to at the level. Of I'll let Judy do it. And then <laughs> analyze that cost, that monthly cost, against the cost of depreciation, vandalism, pumping, and all of that. Right. And cost. See what we come up with. And another, another thing that, that you could do, because you have high season like right now, I mean, there aren't a lot of people in the parks using the porta potty. So maybe pull them during the winter months. I don't know if that would affect our price with Polonies too. Yeah, I'm sure it would. Yeah, because then you're not guaranteed. You know, they 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 commit them out, and so you're well, not just, guaranteed you get them back. Just to pick, load them up, and everything. That's going to be a problem. So I don't know. 
but that's a good, you know, I'll, I'll talk to Jared. Maybe he can get more information on that. Seems like he kind of took the tail of that. Well, one. some of the members, when we were talking about the budget said, well, we're close enough. We can go home if we have to go to the restroom. So, yeah, because no one wanted to pay. Everybody wanted to cut the budget. So we cut the budget and we're going to have to cut. Some I think it's great. So let's finalize your, 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 uh, what you, what you, what you proposed. We've got, how many, how many, we've got three. Three. Okay. Just for the numbers, just so y'all know, they're online for seven hundred and eighty nine dollars. We're paying ninety dollars a month. That's uh break even at eight point seven six months. But we'd have to have them home for ourselves, so that's gonna bring that cost up a little bit more. So those numbers aren't exact. So at eight point seven six months, by the time you figure remove them for the well for the winter time, it's all gonna be about the same. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to put toilet paper in them and everything else too. So, right. so uh, we just need to cut the original. If, if, unless he comes back with some really good prices, I think we're going to just do away with some of them. Oh, that yeah. That's our so, option. Go with some of them. As far as the budget goes, the, the cut was in the budget, so uh, we've got. We don't have the money to pay. We've got to go. Correct. So uh, we need to determine which locations that. Uh, you said you were keeping them at point. And middle midpoint. Yeah. Point point part fishing boat ramp. I really think we fishing needs I think fishing needs to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah fishing. Camping. I'd rather Brandon. Camping. Brandon, Brandon Park. Brandon, Brandon fishing and I think we discussed camping because no one's camping. Right. Well, you gotta put one in camping because there's one at Bridge Park, I think. There is. There is. They, that one could go because that one nobody Ever uses bridge bar. I have a lady call well, all the time, but there ain't no toilet paper. Yes, yeah, there. there is a lady that goes daily. <laughs> so well, which three are we, we eliminating? Can't just accommodate one member when we have. Let somebody. me just let's let's just do this. Uh, let the committee make that determination. We've already done it through the budget, so therefore it's going to balance out. We're not trying to change anything. Let the committee do that. Sounds good. Y'all handle that. Okay. Anything else, Bonda? Nope. Good. Okay. Well, we'll move on then to uh, new business and uh, it's time to vote uh, for the board chairman and the vice That's chairman's good. seats. So, see, I've been chairman for three years now. I think it's kind of been chairman, what, two years? One, three. because Arnett and oh, Charlie right, passed Charles. away in common. So, uh, we need to propose a chairman and a vice chairman and vote on it for this deal. Right. Propose uh, Mr. Hunt, your journalists, and uh, Mr. Trammell for vice chairman. Second. Uh, I second that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I third it. I think we ought to have some discussion. <laughs> no discussion needed. No discussion. <laughs> no discussion. Are you trying to get fired? <laughs> so Rick Hunt did the motion, and who seconded it? Who is everybody? Everybody. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> so you uh, get a purple heart and a medal of commendation. Uh -huh. no, uh, get, keep your seat. <laughs> yeah, you get the st a star. Put on. Right. You get paid the same that Target. we do. Yeah. <laughs> do. Have you ever seen those targets? Yes, I'm you got one. I got one that. for you. Okay, so we have a motion by uh, Rick for. Hunter and Mr. Trammell. Hunter uh, as chairman and Mr. Trammell as vice chairman. Okay. Probably second it. There's a second. Uh, Tommy Who? Matthews. Tommy Matthews. Okay, we have a motion second. Actually, there was about five at once, but yeah. Tommy won. Any discussion? <laughs> All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, okay, motion passes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, um, board members, we'll move on to old business. Is there any old business that, uh, yes, Rick? Uh, just like to check on the status of a, a couple of board directives. Uh, what, uh, briefly, one was uh, to uh, uh, put, uh, install an AED in Hoyle and Park from last year. Uh, one of the, uh, that, uh, the newer uh, motion was for uh, paving uh, Riverside Avenue down to Nebraska for safety reasons. Um, looking for a status, uh, status report on that. Um, Actually, that was late year on the paving part. We had that. Is that in October? Right. I think so. November, right. Uh, um, we haven't had really a lot of activity uh, for those discussions. That's going to be something with the county. We haven't, we haven't 
approach that yet. Sure. Um, AED, no I, I'd be willing to serve the committee of one for uh, you know purchasing an AED for Hodor Park if that would implement that or direct. I'm be on your committee. That's there you. <laughs> There's I'll no TREPO budget. There's no TREPO budget money for it. For the AED. Well, let's maybe work around that with some volunteer contributions. You know, uh, you could do that or a fundraiser or whatever, but it's just what was it like not a lot. They're under the um, one thousand six hundred nine dollars. That would include the uh, the cabinet with alarm and scrub. That was Inside the box of telephone, which is going to happen, um, the AD device and everything included. So, yeah, two of them here are $1,600 each, $1,609, really. Yeah. It is. Yes. I was going to ask also since we're offering CPR classes for free, um, and we've had a huge turnout for that, um, we've got about 12 people signed up for the first one and 11 for the second one. Um, so it's great that we would have people trained that are in and out of our parks and in and out of the river that know how to do CPR and first aid. I think it's a good idea to also have just a first aid kit at maybe the gate greeter station in case somebody gets hurt. We've got tourniquets or bandages or something. So, but is the problem anything, would be having anything, to bring it because if you leave change it, in the training and. I don't know. That's why I'm going to go. How many years? I'm sure, it's changed. They change it every year. What are you talking about? It's changed a lot. Yeah, I did 50 years ago, so I didn't know it was. They changed it every time I went. Okay. Um, I just think it's a good idea to have the, one. The, the ideas are strong and good. The managing of it is is the difficult part because we don't have uh, activity that is managing or in the site on a daily basis. Uh, uh, Charlie just mentioned that he, you know, believes that perhaps maybe these things will be busted open. Uh, and at those kinds of expenses, that's 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 a lot of money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not that it's not a good idea. Um, well, the gate readers could bring them in and take them back out, but then they're not there twenty four hours a day right. to be used either. C correct, and and it would be very nice for that to be able to be the case, but I just don't know that we have that kind of organization. Uh, or people just to manage a station. I know. Can you keep it in the clubhouse or the A frame? Well, that, not well the, the problem is it's the members the having access it to the purpose. It. When it's well, the able to no. no. have access. The no. other thing is you got them at one park and it's to say that. And don't you got to know how to use some things? Yeah. They kind of tell you. It, it's self explained You turn it on, it tells you what to do. It, it's step back walks you through it walk as you as you're the you lay as the person's laying there it's telling you what to do and uh really so i don't, I don't, know the, here, I don't put, really know the answer to that but i, I would feel very awkward having that expensive of equipment yeah out in the open yes and, and it, yes i know somebody's not going to really like this idea but what if we put one in bill's truck <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That'll work. We'll just call the park manager, right? I already carry. <laughs> yeah, he's if, a if I was, was anyway. going to do that, that's that. I mean, Bob would. That was a, it's a great idea. But that would yeah. be good because it is mobile and it's that'd be a good start. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's because they are expensive. Batteries don't last forever. Batteries aren't. You can't get it at Walmart. We would need we, to do we have to be we have to be real cautious, okay? Because if we do that, uh, then automatically I become uh, like a rescue person, which I have the ability to do. But I don't think you guys want to carry the liability of me being the res a rescue person. Yeah, I agree with you, it, mm -hmm. yes. but I think it ought to be mounted. And anybody that breaks into one of those things, they ought to be flogged. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> Well, you might have to have a dedicated camera on that box. You know, that's what I'm saying. People that would mess with something like that are the same ones that tear arms and their legs off dogs. Well, we do this, you know? I don't think that we're fully prepared to make yeah. that kind of a decision. I think there's a lot more debate on that and how we could actually structure it, wouldn't you think? That uh, we should bring it up for discussion again at the next meeting. We do a little more research on what the possibilities are and, and then also how it could be funded. 
You can sit down with you and we can write up some stuff. Sounds good. All right. Good deal. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Any other old business? Board members? Okay. Yes. We'll move on now to um, opening up our meeting to um, <coughs> our members and uh, anyone want to speak to the board. Yeah, I do. Yes. Well, starters. And your name, please? My name is Clay Cassis. Clay. And for starters, Florida statutes states that you cannot do an assessment at a board meeting. You must call a special members meeting for any assessments. Now, it also states <laughs> that posting it on this board right here is not a proper place to post. Posting it on Facebook is illegal. Back against it's against Florida statute, so it's illegal. So that and I know that Florida statutes is the law. So we're breaking the law by not properly posting things where people can get at. It. This is not one building where everybody walks down past the same <laughs> exit. And they can see it on the wall if they turn and look. That ain't the way it is. And another thing. Um, Let me ask you one quick question. Uh, if we post on our website, is that appropriate? Website? Yeah. According to our bylaws, you got to send us a, a notice. Uh, when you talk about it, when you talk, you're talking about assessments? The, the assessments? That's what he no, said. The, the assessments, you got to have a. Um, Hold a special members meeting so the members can What's vote on the assessments. What are you talking about? Assessment? What assessment are you talking about? The $25 we got paid. That the, wasn't in a members it's meeting. It's an assessment. That's why it should have been done at members meeting. That's why we have members meeting once a year to raise the price, or lower the price, or whatever it is. Okay. But you need to read the, the Florida statute. Okay. You're not following them at all. Thank you. You're picking and choosing what you want to do. But you may want to read the bylaws as well because it's also. Have read the bylaws. We're, we're going to keep it. It, it says we'll keep it, that. Keep it to the chair, okay? Okay. The bylaws. Y'all just need to read the bylaws. There's a new bylaw out this year, and there's a member's rights. A new bylaw? And we have rights. Thank you yeah. for coming. Later. Yes, John. Yes, you, you read in your agenda, you have the minutes. You have not notified us what the minutes are. They're not read alive. We don't have copies. Well, they're not put on. You them. don't, excuse me. Just a moment. Just a moment. We do it after, after, oh, they're approved. after they're approved, then they go online. You don't post them on your official website. You don't post your meetings on the official website. What in the devil do you have a website for? It's on a there. bunch of talking to each other. That's Facebook. The website is for official paperwork. Your minutes, your financial report, your agenda, your meeting dates. It's not a chit chat place on the official site. So I would please acknowledge, I don't know who's in charge. It doesn't make any difference. It needs to be brought up legally, not just helter skelter. Your Facebook is for that. Your official site needs to have your information on it. She did not so well. three she months did. later. It has to be put up there the following week of your meeting. And if you don't yeah. understand that, you might want to talk to Tallahassee. Okay, thank you, Joan. Any anyone else want to speak? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I own a surf stock, a registered surf stock, and I I did uh, show his well, not his paperwork, but I showed his badge and everything for that. Now, when you take a service dog into an area where there's people, and that dog barks, acts out, or even acts aggressive. You can ask that person to take the dog out. You cannot ask for their papers, but you can have the dog removed. If they refuse to remove the dog, then you can call the sheriff's department and they have to leave. That is the proper law for a service dog. Mm -hmm. As far as a therapy dog goes, they are not allowed in the park because they're a service dog or a therapy dog. 
they do not perform a service for the person that is, is carrying the dog or walking the dog or whatever. Thank you, Tom, yeah. Thank you for that. What, what is your name? Terry yeah. Schneider. Yeah. 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 Is there a chili cook off my mind? Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Sherry. Received uh, a newsletter or an invoice for this year's dues or any of that stuff. Uh, Me neither. I didn't get it last year either, and I, I asked about it. You know, said you over at Truck. I've been getting it for 16 years, and I'm just not getting none of it. So I haven't received uh, what my dues are supposed to be, what I'm supposed to pay them, or any of that kind of stuff at all. Um, and my wife has been blocked from any of y'all stuff. Um, so like, can you I give me when the how much the dues are? I mean, the dues are one seventy five, and what we mailed them to is whatever the address is. We contacted the Swanee County um, property, property appraisers. They gave us everyone that is listed on the Swanee County side that has the description in their deed that says um, Three Rivers Estates. Did the same thing on Columbia. So if you're receiving your tax assessments, then you should have received. The, uh, the invoices that we sent out, because that's where they went. Well, that's where they go. Whatever your address is, is do we have got any, proof uh, of that. Do we have any uh, copies that we can give them tonight? No. A form they fill out or anything? No. No, because they were all sent out through. Is it online? Yeah. No. no. I don't believe the, it. The, I can the, buy the it online. Should... Do you recall sending them to? They go to every. Well, they're, they're, they're labeled. They go to all the members. Yeah. I mean, I can pull the thing up of every one, and then they, they're there. Pull them up. So it's it's wherever your tax address? assessment goes. Uh, yes, yeah. it hasn't changed since I bought my property. Well, it's where it's where it's issue with your address? I'm not getting it. Was okay. that something sent out about this meeting? No. no, it was, it was the invoice. Let's do this. Uh, let's take their two names and go back and verify it against our records to see what did happen. Okay. Um, and then we'll let you know next meeting. Okay. No, I, we'll do that. No, no, a couple of times they have a meeting, somebody told me, no. Second. Okay, Jesse, what do you have? I was wondering how y'all's communication community is. All members are allowed to go to any committee meetings, and I've never been told when there was one. Also, the budget meeting, they told y'all have one. They told the, the Monday before uh -huh. the Tuesday of our meeting, but I've never seen that post anywhere except for one time um, last year. So I, I don't know if you guys are posting those or. We're not having We don't have any budget meetings. We used to have budget meetings the week of the TREPO meeting. We're not doing that. We all just wonder, Once a year. We, we have one meeting to come up with the budget for the following year that we, we discussed. That's what the communication committee did and when they made a communication committee report. But you've never shared with members when your communication committee meeting is. They're not going to have one. one. They're, They're not meeting. Well, it's against the law for the board to correspond with each other and not in an open meeting if it's a committee. The committee doesn't meet. We come here and bring you whatever we've got. Everybody reports what they're doing on their individual basis. We don't have meetings. Not against the law, too. Yeah. I'm okay. okay. You so, form a committee, you have to have a meeting. Y'all can't just have five correspondence chat. We, we, not have we, we don't do meetings. correspondence. We here bring it here. Here we are. So, let yeah, me, me move on. Does anyone else have a question? No, another question. Okay, Mike. <laughs> every, every time you have a meeting, you have to mail it out to everybody. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. That's the part. But can it be an official way on a website that everybody would get it, something on email? Or, Okay. It it is our meetings are the second Tuesday of every month unless for some unforeseen reason there's not going to be a meeting like last last week. We and that is posted on our website it, under meetings. It says Triple Board meetings are held on the second Tuesday of every month at seven p.m. So on the website it's itself posted the night before. No, this has been there for like ever. It's uh, what I'm trying to tell you or tell him right now is it is a paragraph right here under meetings. It says. Report board meetings are held on the second Tuesday of every month at 7 p.m. Now, sometimes, like this month, due to the weather, we did post it um, that we were postponing it till tonight. Uh, we did put that out on January the 8th. Today is the 16th. And just for the record, if we look at Chapter 20, we or 720, we do see that you got to post it within 48 hours. We did that, and it says except for an emergency, weather can be considered an emergency, so we are well within the guidelines on that. But it is posted online when the meetings are. We did put it in the announcements that we were postponing it until tonight. We did that you know, eight days ago. 
So it, it is all right that yeah, so when you, you did, did not post it 48 hours before you canceled the meeting and you didn't post it in a conspicuous place where it can be seen by members at the front of the door because I was here and there wasn't any. You're right, it wasn't 48 hours, it was eight days. Day, sir. So and just you just interrupted this gentleman over here. No, I well, not. For him? Okay, let's uh, let's. I'm talking to Mr. Hunter because he's yeah, the chairman, and y'all all are interrupting me. That's quite that's quite all right. You said you did what so, now? You you didn't you didn't post it. It was not much. I can show you pictures with a date and time stamp on it. On so last when week. did we decide last week we had then, that? that was an emergency uh, last cancel, week? Right? Well, was well, that the night we didn't have electricity? Just a moment. No, please. Not. no this is just a moment, please. Okay, so get to the bottom of it. We canceled the meeting because they had called schools because there was a storm oh, storm storm next door. Yes, coming yes, yes storm that's storm. right. When did we cancel that? Was it one day, two days ahead? No, it was like one a day? couple hours before. The, it was a couple hours before because that's yeah. when Columbia County, the school board, called their meeting off due to the inclement weather. Yeah. No, they of closed emergency. the schools, Jesse. I mean, we, there was no reason to have you a meeting. Mr. Thompson just said that he was within the law by posting it on the 8th, which is the day before. And then y'all just told us that you it until the very day of the month. That so was, which fire are y'all going to? was on January the 8th. Y'all just said, I got it on the report. So y'all. January the 8th was the day before the meeting. So January the 8th was the day before the meeting. Because yeah, the right? meeting would have been on the ninth. Mm -hmm. So the day before the meeting, due to the weather, we postponed it to the. Yeah. So you know that twenty-four hours. I also texted our president and uh, asked if there was a meeting after when we postponed it. That's the only way in the past I've been able to get a response, and she never responded until today. Because I didn't see it till this morning. I mean the next morning, and I figured by then you already knew there wasn't a board. So let's move on to John. Do you have a question? Yes. Yeah. When you are posting on your official site, and it's for meetings, that's where the information needs to be, not hidden somewhere else where I have to go looking all over the place. So Actually, it's under information, and it's found on our home page. It's not under meetings, Charlie. This, this, may I finish, please? Yeah. If we do <clears> a <throat> meeting, we announce that to everyone. Therefore, since we announced it, we put it under announcements. We put it on the home page where everybody could see it without even going to another page. We also put it under information and announcements. So we put it in a couple different spots to make darn sure that everybody could see that. Sir, I had to look in three different places to find out if there was a meeting tonight. Okay. Sorry for that. It wasn't Can, under meeting. Hey, John, let's, go, let's go forward then. So where does she need to look? Uh, well, it was a general, general announcement, so it was actually on the home page. Okay. Okay. Right here. okay. It was a general announcement posted to the home page right here, and it made it easy for everyone to find you. Okay. All right. So is there anyone else? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, the other question is, I did see the meetings where they were posted in multiple different places, but there are people that do not use the internet and they don't do it on their phone. How do we get that information to them? Even if you talk to them, okay, and they understand that, but then there's other people like my next door neighbors on the other side, they don't do any of that. So they don't know anything that's going on. How do you post that or show that if they're not using a computer or the phone or a, a member doesn't, you know, can't tell them or whatever. How did they get to know about all? In an emergency, I don't know. I mean, like that was, you know, the weather. I don't know. And, and, I've always put out there to please tell your neighbors and your friends. Yeah, we can chat. Ask spread the word. That's, right. that's well, all you can do. We've done that. I think it'd be quite expensive to try to reach to everyone because we wouldn't know a special case. Yeah, so it'd be fun. very, very difficult to do so. Yeah. And we this do is have a standard meeting have. time that, that we meet. So right. um, I don't know the answer to folks that don't use the internet. It's just like myself. I don't you do Facebook. Mine, so I don't have, have to have, have them by well, law. Well, I only get three my yes. with these particular neighbors. They don't even have a key. They don't do any any part of well, the park or anything like that. Right. But I thought it was mandatory for Not for these. For the keys. No, for the keys. The, it's mandatory to pay your dues, and then when you are a member in good standing, then we give you keys to the park. Yes, it's mandatory to pay your your dues, your fees. Okay, so it would be mandatory for them. Also, it should mm -hmm. be. It is. Okay, but they don't know any of that. Unless I tell them, or we sent we just like I was saying, we sent the invoices out. 
the invoice goes to wherever they receive their property tax bill. So they would have received an invoice from Three Rivers Estates. That's all I'm saying. They would have received that in the mail. Okay, they didn't. But okay. they, they should let's, have. Let's move on. So, uh, <laughs> is there anyone else that would like to speak? Oh, yes, ma'am. Sure. Since I don't know all the names, who is the board president of Three Rivers? Can you clarify that for me? He is Hunter. You're Hunter? Yes. Okay. And then who's the chairman? You're the chairman. Yes. Because we voted for the vice chair? Yeah. He is not here tonight. Oh. He's out sick. He was Tom Trammell. Oh. That's what I wanted. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll, um, board members, we will, any, any other board members? Do, 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 yeah, one more question, really. Mr. Can we please at least try to postpone to post one little thing on the door like we usually do to let people know that it's not going to be done? Did you tell you got sick? You were supposed to have done it. Yeah, they know that it's not going to be a meeting and then postpone. Did we put anything on the door? It was supposed to. I asked Terry. Terry got sick. Oh. So we have a technical got that particular thing. It was not. And yes, I'm sorry, Tim, to do so. Absolutely. Okay, board members, does any board members have any yes bond? Can we go around and say our name and what we are? Because like with her, she's not familiar with who everybody is. This okay. Um, how you doing? Go ahead, Chairman. How you doing, Bill? I'm good. How you doing? I'm Hilda Gilchrist. I'm the secretary. And I would like to make sure, because I heard what you said, the, the meeting minutes that I record, cannot be posted until after the meeting and they're approved. So either tonight I go home and I post it or tomorrow it gets posted, but that's the way it works. It's after this meeting. And you well, should have a record of, uh, you should be able to see all the meetings that I was secretary so that I did on my record. I don't know what happens to a few, like I wasn't here two uh, months. Oh, yeah. Last year, I'm not sure whether Dickie, those Dickie meetings Dickie that just got reported, Correct. but everything else that I've done, I did. Have you seen those? I've been looking for them. Where are you posting? In meeting minutes. I've tried and I don't find them. Okay, so you get a meeting. I know, and then you post the date and all this. And I've done that. Mm -hmm. Now you have to put it on You, you uh, they're, they're listed by um, the sequences, the year. So it's yeah, 23, uh, last year, 23, 10, 1, uh, 10, 10, okay, would have been October. Yeah. And there were two for October because we also had a members meeting. That's in there also. So you should, if, if I'm sorry if you can't find it, but it's in there. I'm going to work again. Okay, you need to yourself. Uh, Terry, I know. Terry, Terry, you know, Judy is just quickly go around the room, okay? <laughs> All right, Terry. Terry Hester, President. Terry Hester, President. Bill Brown, Park Manager. Tommy Matthews. Board member. Mickey Olson, I'm a vice president. Sandy Keene, I'm a dog. <laughs> Board member. Rick Palmer. Rick Palmer, yeah. Judy Brown, watching. James Baker, Board member. Kathy Riker, board member. Wayne Sowers, board member. Hey. Vicki Treasurer. And I wanted to say, Joan, I don't. I post the financials after the board approves them. I can't post any financials until they've been approved. But they're on there as well. Bonda. Fonda Ackerson, board member. Charlie Thompson, board member. Okay. Well, Meeting okay. adjourned. Well, okay. call for motion. For motion. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> motion to adjourn. Second. Second, favor. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm here, boys.